What is up you guys? You're watching Sergio's Secret. I feel like it's been such a long time since I actually sat down and filmed a video. Obviously a lot of things have changed within the last couple of weeks. So I'm basically going to break it down and I'll do a collective haul and I'll explain why I moved to Houston and what my current situation and everything is. So right now, um, so basically like three weeks ago, I went to Houston down for a weekend. So basically, I'm gonna, just gonna break it down and I'm gonna be quite honest. So in Dallas, I was like looking at apartments and you know, my lease was ending October 31st. So I had till Halloween or 30th. So I had till Halloween to find a place and to move out and to do all that. Going forward, I knew that that weekend, I really wanted to have fun. I didn't really want to, you know, I didn't want to spend my Halloween basically packing and unpacking. And then if I do go out, be exhausted and tired. And so I had went to Houston for a little couple of days, like a couple of weeks back. And then I drove to Corpus Christi and I was in Corpus Christi for a little bit. And then we drove to Monterrey. And so I was in Monterrey for well over a week. And then the same thing happened. Monterrey, drove back, Corpus. And then I was in Houston for, I was supposed to be there that week. I got back on Houston on a Sunday. I was supposed to leave Houston on a Tuesday. I didn't end up leaving Houston till Thursday. I ended up staying an additional two more days. I went from like two Airbnbs to a hotel and then I went and that's why like my luggage and everything was so overwhelming because so much stuff that I had brought in all along the way and so I ended up for me so I ended up um, looking at apartments here in Houston and like I said I really wasn't satisfied and I'm gonna be honest I actually signed on a lease in Dallas and so whenever I started just looking at apartments in Houston I was just like mm, como me pega la gana I kind of want to live in Houston I kind of want to break the one in Dallas because I just don't really want to live there and I would just rather take the loss of whatever, how much I have to pay and honestly I'll keep it moving because at the end of the day I wasn't happy at that apartment. I just kind of signed one because I knew that after, you know, all, like basically almost two weeks of traveling, it was two weeks of traveling back and forth that I didn't really want to, um, you know, be rushed when I get back, but I just happened to stay in that other two days. I ended up looking at a lot of apartments in Houston, um, and so I ended up finding one, and I signed on the lease even way before uh, I was gonna tell the Dallas property that I was gonna end up not staying there. They weren't really happy with that decision, and there was a little bit of consequences, but everything is fine, it got taken care of, so I ended up, you know, I just wasn't happy to live in Dallas or I just didn't want to be in that area. Um, I wanted to stay uptown, I wanted to stay in the neighborhood, like I wanted to stay around there, but when I started looking at apartments, I just didn't really feel inspired and I felt like everything was the same. Versus in Houston, obviously it's not far from home, it's only like three hours, four hours, and, and, and but it's still like a change of scenery and a change of everything, so I was like, you know what, I'm not far from home and I also didn't want to do a big dramatic move. Um, I was really, really, really considering moving to Miami. That was such a big contender. Um, but the rent in Miami and just to me even thinking about doing the whole moving process in such a short amount of time frame um, wasn't something that I was willing to do. And I'm very, very picky on a lot of things. I don't like movers to touch my stuff. I like to have control of absolutely everything. I like to see everything. I'm not necessarily a control freak. I'm just like... Yes, everything has insurance, yes, everything is good to kind of like see everything where it's at and that's why I have cameras and that's why like I'm just like a little bit psycho like that. And so anyway, Miami was in the works, but probably after this lease ends, I think that's where I ultimately want to move to. And so I ended up moving to Houston on Thursday. I did have two of my friends, I had my cousins help me put everything into the U-Haul. And then once I got here, I paid practically like 90% of it, I put it back in. And then my friend came right at the end and she kind of helped me with the last bits and bops. Um, my apartment is still a complete mess. It's trash, like there's stuff everywhere. Um, just because I don't have a couch yet, I haven't purchased a couch. Um, there's so much, I want to put Christmas decorations. I don't have a bed frame already. I need to get shelving units, Billy bookcases, because I just threw the ones I had because I just wasn't worth me trying to travel $50 bookcases, I'd rather just buy them new. I just have so much stuff to get done. I don't have a trash can. I, I, the last one that I had was valet. 
and so I have to buy a trash can. I'm using plastic bags. So there's just so much stuff to get done. Uh, picture phrasing, pictures, uh, this and that. So I still have like lots and lots of work to get done. But also YouTube is my job. So and you know I love YouTube and I love each and every single one of you. So obviously um, I'm gonna have to balance with both of them. But um, I'm gonna start vlogging and you guys will just come along and kind of do like errands and kind of shopping and stuff like that. But that is the life update. I did move to Houston. There's not really a particular reason. The reason is I just didn't really want to live in Dallas. I feel like it was all the same. Um, I was okay with leaving all my friends, with all my family. It is completely fine. As lo a lot of you guys know, I'm very independent in a lot of things I, I do. I go out by myself. I've been to London by myself. I've been to many cities by myself. Um, I can have dinner by myself. I could do pretty much any and everything by myself. I don't necessarily need to have cliques or groups of friends or whatever i just feel like for me myself i think just my energy and my aura in general it just kind of starts conversation so if i do go out to a restaurant or like at the bar in the restaurant go buy like a drink or two girl i'm already making friends like i'm just very outgoing i'm a little awkward in the beginning but i want to kind of warm up with you within like five minutes i kind of like start kind of being a lot more comfortable but for me it's just very easy for me to make friends it's very easy for me to find connections and so for me i was just like that's not really something I struggle in. Like I said, I may get nervous and shy in the beginning, but once I get comfortable, I'm like, ooh, girl, let's crack some jokes. That's just personally me, but I did want to say that, that there wasn't really a particular reason. I just wanted to change it, and I actually really do like Houston. So growing up, my parents never really like took us traveling and, and nothing like that. I'm just being quite honest. They're not, they're more of homebody persons. I'm not necessarily really a homebody. I can literally be any and everywhere, and I'll be totally fine. I kind of like that fast kind of like paced lifestyle in a sense where it's just like okay well I'm here there and then I'm here this and then I'm doing this I'm doing that I really like that fast pace my parents are not like that and so I went to Houston for the first time in January can you believe I was 20 and I never went to Houston up like that is absolutely insane and it was during the ice storm and so I liked Houston and then I went back during the summertime and then I just came back and you know I was here for a couple days and went over oh, my little trips and then came back for a couple more days and that was like my fourth time and I said you know what I really really love Houston I love the people I love the energy and so I said why not let's just move here I didn't want to move to Austin, San Antonio, Oklahoma, Phoenix I didn't want to do any of that I said Houston is like perfect for me I love Houston I'm 21 I have my entire rest of my life and I would just want to kiki with the girls. So that's what I did. So now I'm Houston, Texas. I'm an H-Town baby. And without further ado, let's go ahead and do a haul of some things that I purchased recently or within the last couple of weeks that you guys have, may have or have not seen me wear. I will say I have been buying quite a bit of H&M clothes. I will do probably an H&M haul in general. So stay tuned for that. But I do have a kind of clothing and shoes and stuff that I do want to show you. So let's go ahead and get started. The first item, and I'll leave everything linked down below. But yes, guys, um, this is the newest h Tone hottie. I live in Houston, Texas now, and I'm super, super excited. And I'm fairly, relatively close to absolutely everything. So the first item that I picked up are these sneakers from Troy Birch, and I actually bought them at the Troy Birch in Houston Galleria. I bought them right before I went to Monterrey. And here are the laces right here. And I will say, everybody was super nice at the Troy Birch Boutique. I will say, oh, every single time I go to a Troy Birch store, in general, I tend to have such like the time of my life. And I was actually with one of my uh, friends from that we met on YouTube, Ross, and um, I'll leave his YouTube channel link down below. And so we ended up just meeting up for the first time and we kind of went a little bit shopping, kind of looking around. And I ended up picking up a few things. I ended up buying a fragrance, but I ended up losing it. I think I left it in the hotel room. Um, they couldn't find that, but they did find my Tilt Me hat, which I do have in my closet. And so um, I ended up picking up the Good Luck Trainer by um, Troy Birch. I've been wanting those for the moment that they came out. And so I ended up picking them up. Um, these ones, I will say Troy Birch sneakers do run a little big. My Howl sneakers are a size 9. These ones are 8.5. I know they look quite tiny, but I do have small... For my frame, it's very weird because... I know people that are a lot shorter than I am, and they literally wear like size 11. I am about like a woman size 9, 10, and I am like 5'11", almost 6 foot. It's kind of weird, like my proportions are like a little off. But I ended up trying these on, and I fell in love with them. Out of all the combinations of the Good Luck Trainer, I went to the store in Plano and Legacy West, and I just saw them, but I just didn't end up picking them up. And then so I ended up having a birthday coupon. Um, I don't know why, I think when I grew up, I think when I did the birthday coupon, 
I think I've made mine to be October instead of September by accident. So I always get mine in October, which is really weird. And so I ended up um, using the $50 off towards these ones. So these ones were $278. And so I ended up getting $50 off of them, which were which is amazing because I was going to buy these ones full price. When I went into the store, I was looking at a bunch of stuff. And they wrote me like a little letter. Um, and here you go. I'll put it right here and I love these little letters and notes and stuff like that even if they're kind of forced to make them or they make them like out of the kindness of their heart I genuinely really 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 like them and I always collect all these little cute cards and like I said it says uh, have uh, safe travels because I was going to go to Monterrey for a little over a week and so I got them they are so comfortable they go with a lot of already things that I have from Toy Birch my tea monogram items my Eleanor um, collection handbag they just go with a lot of things. Let me know if you want to see a Toy Bridge collection because I do, I have enough to do a really good video. But um, yes, I ended up picking them up. I'm so happy with them. The, these are so comfortable and um, this, the Howl sneaker from Toy Birch and my major sneakers are my favorite shoes under $300 that are sneakers. So I'll leave all those linked down below. But yes, super comfortable. I love them, 10 out of 10. And these are actually Toy Birch's number one seller for sneaker as of now and they are doing so well and the sole and everything is super soft and super comfortable so for me um the toy bridge good luck trainer i love them and i like that it had a little bit of extra height so if you are looking for a nice sneaker and they have them in all these kind of tri colors and so many variations and I highly recommend them. So Toy Birch uh, Good Luck Trainer is definitely a great purchase and you'll be seeing me wear these throughout the entire fall and winter and spring and summer season. Here is my, this is my fifth pair of Toy Birch shoes. So um, Good Luck Trainer, definitely going to be a win. The next item that I purchased is from Fashion File and I purchased this one when I was driving from Corpus to Houston. Um, I've been having this, so I ended up buying my Cardi A watch which is actually in the, in the restroom. And so I ended up um, having like a little bit of an extra credit. Um, so I sold a couple things and I got a credit and that's how I was able to buy it. And I had like $300 left in a fashion file credit. I was stalking the website, not every day, but every couple of days just to see if there's something that I want. Obviously you guys know that I am 100% obsessed with hats. Ever since I have really, really short hair, I don't use hairspray, no hair products. It's just literally like a clean, clean up every single week. And so you guys have seen my hat collection literally skyrocket and grow absolutely fast and so i saw this one and i said oh my god this is literally the fall fantasy it is in this beautiful brown velvet it has all the ggs across but what i love is that it gives me such the gay fantasy it has hot pink on the inside and um i ended up paying like i think out of pocket like 80 dollars and so i love it um it's a large i will say in hats i tend to be extra large my product bucket hat my Gucci um, hat, the other one, is a size extra large, I believe. I do kind of have to put it at the end just because it is, you know, a size large instead of an extra large, but that doesn't really bother me. I just think it is so cute. I think it is so adorable. And this one goes with all my brown jackets, with my brown blazers, with my Sherpa bags. It just absolutely goes with everything. So I saw so much value in it. And I wore my Bucky hat from Gucci all summer long. I kind of do consider that one more of a summer hat. This one I consider more of a fall because it is velvet, but I think it is so cute. I think it is so adorable. So I went for it. Like I said, I only paid like $85 out of pocket because um, when you sell through Fashion File, you get like extra percent, 10% credit. And so basically this was like the extra credit that I got. And so technically I did really pay 85 because it was extra credit that I got from the Cartier watch. And so I was like, you know what? Absolutely yes, I love it. And this is my second purchase from Fashion File. I really have, I didn't really buy Fashion File items for like the longest, I would always sell to them. But I knew I wanted the Cartier watch and I knew I got these. So these are my two purchases from Fashion File for the year as of now. I may purchase a couple other things, but um, GG Velvet Hat. Um, it obviously came packaged in all the beautiful Fashion File packaging, but obviously, um, I couldn't bring it with me and I love it and it's the pink for me. I love the pop of pink. It is so adorable. So um, Gucci hat definitely well worth it and it's gonna be an item that's gonna get so much wear and I get so many compliments every time, every time I wear. I think it's so cute and it's so different and speaking of hats, I remember I bought two more hats. So let me go ahead and bring those and show them to you besties. Hats. One of the items actually comes in as a set and I'll kind of explain everything. So first day when I was in Houston, like coming from Dallas, this is my Versace essay at the Versace outlet here in Cyprus in Houston. I'll leave her contact information down below. She is wonderful to work with 
and I purchased quite a bit of things within a short period of time. Not a lot of things, but a few things. I that I was going to come, and I think it was during... And she said that they're actually having a sale this weekend, and if you spent over a thousand you get 30 percent off and certain clearance items were 40 percent off so you get 40 plus 30 plus whatever is reduced you are getting kind of like three three discounts because the items already reduced you get like 40 percent off and then you get 30 and so she's like but you have to spend a thousand to get the 30 and i said well in versace ready to wear that's very easy to spend and i went to the versace store in cyprus and i just started trying on a bunch of stuff and i did like a lot of pieces but for me, I just cannot bring myself to spend like $500 on a Versace sweater and then like $500 like on a pair of pants that are not, that are kind of like not sets. And so I started turning on everything and I did like some pieces, but I wasn't in love with it. And then I saw this set and I traded it on and I said, absolutely yes. Um, I forget all the other stuff that I was trying on. I don't want to buy like one-off pieces and it's very hard and I have to accommodate that style for that look. I rather prefer to have full sets and so for me I do have like that JLo um, set and I love it it's perfect because it's a short and the jacket and that's what I end up doing with this set and if you follow me on Instagram which I suggest you do because I do post all my little looks there um, I went for it so I ended up paying about like a thousand fifteen a thousand dollars and fifteen fifteen dollars for this set um, but the jacket was three thousand dollars and the pants were like fifteen hundred dollars so it's like almost like a five thousand dollar set with tax and a little over a thousand dollars and so this is the set right here so it is a trouser and it is a denim jacket set first of all look at all the details of the fit it has the collar it has gold and silver so you can wear either or jewelry it has the beautiful medusa head uh, right here and right here just like the jlo jacket and it has the versace throughout the entire denim jacket and then in the back it says johnny versace and it is in all these beautiful studs mostly gold and silver and then it has it's basically like a western fit and then here it says versace and it has um these little two buttons right here that you can kind of tighten it up and you can open it and yeah it is a little bit on the crop side but it is totally fine and then i took a size 44 in it and it fits me absolutely perfect and i love it and then i'm gonna go ahead and show you the trouser um this was not a, an expected purchase i was really just thinking about spending like not 500 like 500 dollars but when it comes to these sets they're very archive pieces and they're things that i get so much enjoyment out of um so i went for it and that's why i purchased it and then here are the denim pants and they say versace the medusa right here and they have it and when i wore this out i wore it the same day basically i was supposed to be here for friday and saturday and then i was supposed to go to corpus but i ended up um I was supposed to say just Friday and then go to Corpus on Saturday, but I ended up going to Corp. I ended up going to Corpus on Sunday, so I had an extra day. I wore this out the day that I bought it, and I kid you not, the amount of compliments that I got on this outfit is unreal. And it has the Versace, and it's just such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful look. And I'll enter photographs of me wearing it right here. It's a lot because, like, okay, if I get this and this, that's like a thousand already. If I get this, this is like 900, and I'd rather have a set, and that can always mix and match the items. But I think this is so cute. I literally feel like Hailey Bieber in this. So I don't really like spend a whole lot of money on expensive ready to wear. Even like the Versace uh, J Lo set, it was around the same price. Maybe it was like a little bit more. But I just love, 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 love um, the look that it has. And since for me. I have so many different outfits, so many different looks. I don't really care if I necessarily repeat it. I know some people say, oh my gosh, Sergio, you wore your J-Lo set like already like five times that you purchased it. I said, you are damn right. I wore it five times. First of all, it was expensive. Second of all, I love it. And if I love it, then I'm going to wear it. And then third of all, girl, I bought this during the summertime. Girl, it's been like almost five months or four months since I purchased it. Girl, I'm wearing it like once a month. So chill out. You know, I think for us, I feel like, especially me in the fashion industry or like working, I feel like it's kind of looked down upon on to repeat like total looks and stuff like that. I'm the type of person that gets really enjoyment out of the things that I wear, and that's why I tend to wear uh, not the same thing every time, but you do see things that I've worn previously, and it's because I get just enjoyment of just wearing things that I genuinely love, and I don't necessarily feel the, I don't like to feel the pressure of 
always having to keep up and always having to buy stuff. Like I said, for this for this to be a whole one month collective haul, even though it is quite a bit of stuff, compared to like when I worked at Nordstrom, this is what I would have bought in like in a week or two weeks. Like my spending has definitely changed a lot, but I do like all the pieces that I bought. So um, here are the looks for them. And then I was like, I need a cowboy hat for it. I need a cowboy hat, I need a cowboy hat, I need a cowboy hat. So I ended up going to Cavender's, yes girl, your little your little gay homosexual queen went to Cavender's, girl. I've only been there with my tios, my tias, my parents. I've never been by myself. I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't want to say like, oh, like they were going to be mean, but I just literally went in with the outfit. I took it into the store and I said, I, the guy that works at the hat station, I said, hey, like, I'm looking for a hat that kind of goes with this. Um, I, I'm wearing them with a... Uh, Boots. I'll wear them with a black bodysuit, and I'm gonna wear this. What do you have for me? And so he pulled out this one, and the reason why I like it, it actually kind of goes with it because all the other ones either had gold or silver, and this one has gold and silver. So I was like, yeehaw! I said, yeehaw, baby! This one's it. And let me tell you, the customer service at Cavender's Miss Gay Cowboy Fantasy was phenomenal. Well, like I have never had that good of a customer service at any other store. The guy literally took 30 minutes and, you know, I didn't have things to get done, but he took his time. I have a big head, my head is big, we all know that girl. And so, I ended, he ended up taking like 30 minutes, like steaming out to like make it me fit perfectly. And how to adjust, he was like, um, adjust the hat for me and he, I guess he was expecting for me to do this. And I kind of like fixed it like that, I said, yeah, you're supposed to move it like this. And he was giving me tips, he was telling me, well, if you ever come back to Houston, because back then I didn't know that I was going to live in Houston. He was like, I can change this, I can do whatever you want me to. If you need any more hats, just let me know. Super nice guy. And then um, he even recommended me like some some song to play, and I played it in the car, and it's actually quite funny. Not funny, but it went with the theme that I wasn't aware. It was called Rhinestone Cowboy. And so I listened to it in the car, and I lived the gay fantasy, and I ended up wearing the hat, the fit with the boots, no bag. And girl, I was living the whole gay fantasy. And I love it. I think it looks so good. The hat and the hat. I was. Ex I didn't know hats were like. I thought these hats for them to take their time and stuff and like that. I thought they were gonna be well over like 100, 150 dollars. Baby, this one was like 70 dollars, and I love it. And I have my classic black gay cowboy hat, and I am living the whole fantasy. So I am here for it. So um, cowboy hat with the Versace outfit. Yes, please. And then when I came back from Corp from Monterrey. Girl, tell me why I went and I done bought this. So after I started looking at apartments, I said, girl, I'm breaking the Dallas lease. I don't care if I have to pay whatever. You know, I'm not happy. And I started kind of like getting a, a little emotional. And I said, like, oh, girl, I said, I'm going to live the Houston fantasy. So I went to Little Gay Lids, girl. Yes, girl. We went to Cavender's for the first time. We went to Gay Lids for the first time, girl. And I bought myself a little Houston hat. And girl, and now I'm living the Houston fantasy. I... Love Houston, and Houston is home for now, and I mean, why not each town, baby? I, I, I tell my cousins and all my friends, I'm like, girl, I'm quick to replace everything Dallas Cowboys, Texas Rangers, all that stuff. I'm ready to replace you, and um, um, I'm ready to replace you with everything Houston. So, I'm, maybe I'm a little bit of a traitor, but I really don't care. I'm not even into sports like that, but I kind of want to get this, and I do want a jersey from Houston. Um, so for baseball, so if you know any players or the one that I should get or the one that people get the most or the one you think I would like, definitely let me know down below. And so, yes, I got the little gay Houston hat, so now I'm living the gay Houston fantasy. Next thing is this little candle, and this is a mimosa candle, and I already burnt it. This was kind of like my housewarming gift to myself. I'm like, yes, I got myself a little gay Adepti candle. It's been like well over like a year since I purchased a Adepti candle, or two years in that case. And I was like... I was like, ooh, mimosas, a girl loves a good mimosa, a girl, a girl knows how to have a good time. So I said, absolutely yes. And so I went and I purchased the little gay mimosa candle. And so I'm moving the mimosa fantasy. I'm starting to do um, holiday gift guide sets. And so I saw these two ones and I said, absolutely yes, I have to purchase them. And so I bought this one right here. And I'm gonna be doing my favorite sets under $100, $250, best handbags to gift as gifts. All that good stuff so stay tuned for all that because it's going to come like literally right after these next couple videos and so i bought this little gay essay ladder one i don't want to talk about it too much because i have them ready i will say this one was very disappointing i didn't realize it until i actually started looking at it because i always buy these ones i always buy 
these sets, I will say I always prefer to give the Lancome ones always over the Estee Lauder ones, just my preference. Um, but this one actually kind of sucks this year. I mean, yes, it's still a value because full size, full size, full size. But I believe last year I had like a perfume that was like a little bit bigger. I don't know. This year's set compared to the Estee Lauder one, obviously the Estee Lauder one um, outranks it. And even the packaging of the Estee Lauder one's a lot better. But I just wish that it was jam-packed as like the ones from the previous years. But I'll look into everything later on. But I did go ahead and pick those up for my little gay holiday gift guides. And then I'm going to show you the last two items that I purchased from this little gay kind of collective haul. And I also kind of want to chit chat with you. And I kind of wanted to get the tea girl. And so I'm happy, happy, happy to finally be back on the channel in Alma Houston. And I'm ready for the gay Christmas spirit. I'm just ready for everything. So um, it's going to be so, 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 so much fun. So let me go ahead and show you the other items. So the last two items are going to be ready to wear. And the first one is a pair of jeans. I had a $100 gift card through my American Express card. And I had $150. So um, I had $100 for sex credit. And then I had $50 um, Sephora credit. And that's why I went and I bought the uh, Victor Ross Spice Bomb that I ended up losing. Um, but I did see these trousers and I did want another pair of Awoody jeans um, I tried the 26 I took a 27 in this one just because I wanted the, them to be a little bit more of a relaxed fit The 26 fits me perfectly But girl after like a meal or two girl um, They don't hurt, but they're a little bit tighter So I wanted something when I know I'm gonna go to like to Pluckers girl or I'm gonna go to freaking Olive Garden I'm just kidding, I don't eat Olive Garden, but like Chili's 2 for 20 girl, and I put my, I drink my little Sprite, my little chips, my little pasta, uh, shrimp pasta, my little dessert girl, and you see how like big it's kind of stretching out to be. So I kind of want it kind of like where I can be kind of a fatty. And so I ended up buying these ones, and I love Agoldi, you guys know that most of my denim is Agoldi. Um, I do like Mother as well, but I will say for the premium lines, I will say Agoldi is probably my favorite one. So I went ahead and purchased this baby. I love it and it's a really great jean purchase and you can never go wrong with classic Agoldi. And then the last item that I got is from The Row and I bought this one. Um, girl, I just wanted to have been through the gigs, girl. I've been through the gigs. So after I bought this one, oh, I also bought, I bought a picture frame too, but it's just a picture frame, it's fine. Um, I ended up having a flat tire and I ended up having to replace all my four tires in my car. And so, girl, uh, girl, going through the gigs, have to call AA, whatever it's called, and my insurance come change my flat tire, and then go and waste like five hours of my life to go get all these tires changed. Cause girl, the tires places be taking forever. Girl, people be having flat tires. Girl, if I, my life has been a little bit of a chaotic episode the last couple of weeks, but now we're going to Q4. Where well, we've been in Q4, it literally this is like month two. And literally my head is like exploding, but I'm calm and collective as long as I get my stuff done and we are good. But I saw this shirt at Las Compañía Marquez. It was, um, it was there for 75% off. It was $250 from $1,000 and it had 20% off, so I got it for $200. Um, I always wanted kind of like a camely sleeveless one. A, because I could wear it by itself or B, I could wear it with a white button up. So I, I love it. This is what I wore in my apartment tour video in Dallas, which I'll also leave linked down below. And um, it got in a size large, I believe. And, and it was made in the USA and it is 100% cashmere. So I said, if it was a blend, I would have not purchased it. But something like this from Bainster Theory or even Veronica Beard would not even cost you $200. You'd be paying upwards towards four or $500. So I said, you know what? 200 bucks is pretty good compared to contemporary brands. I do consider the road designer, like Veronica Beard, Vincent Theory, or like Boss Woman or Eileen Fisher. Something like this will easily cost you like 350 to 450 So I said, you know what? I think it's a really great purchase. It's a clothing staple. It goes with everything. It has a slit. A lot of clothes from the road have this little slit right here and it, it will just go with everything. So I purchased it and now I have another piece from the row and this is kind of like starting to be a little bit more of my fall items and I can't believe I found like a winter fall item at last call, um, especially like it, like now that we are actually in the season. But yes guys, this is my little gay collective haul slash little life update. Hope you guys love it. I'll, I'm back to ro posting regularly. Like I said, if you were to see my apartment, it's like literally like my head's exploding. But life goes on, girl. I gotta be making these videos for you guys because I know I miss you guys so much and I know you guys miss me. So I wanna say thank you, thank you so much for watching this gay homosexual video. I love each and every single one of you. And I'll see you guys on the next one. And I love each and every single one of you. And let me know what is to do for Houston. What jersey should I get as far as baseball? What player? Um, let me, for here in Houston, let me know. The Astros, 
and also what's a 411 in Houston and um, just live your best life guys thank you thank you thank you so much guys and I'll see you guys on the next video bye guys and all the links for everything will be linked down below